Good morning, my friends, and welcome back to my channel. It is a very, as you can see, dreary day again in Southern New Jersey. We are getting the effects of Hurricane Zeta here. Start, well, tomorrow it's gonna be really bad here. Um, lots of rain and stuff, so they say, but today's just another yucky day. It's not been a very nice fall here. We've had a lot of dreary days, but what are you gonna do, right? Anyway, it is Wednesday, and that means it is weigh-in and meeting topic day. So my weigh-in for this week, I was hoping for a little bit better, but it's a loss and I will take it. I lost 0.2. I thought I was gonna do better than that, but, and like I said, I am not one to look for excuses. I had a great week. If I didn't, I would have told you. I mean, Sunday, I had a very high point day after my race, but one day is not going to kill an entire week. Um, I just really think it's the hormones because I told you I've been having issues. And guess what showed up last night? Since August. Yeah. So I think a lot of it is hormonal, but as long as I am maintaining, I would like to lose between six and eight pounds, but as long as I'm maintaining, I'm okay with that for now. So let's hope that keeps happening. So that is my weigh in. And the weekly topic this week is week two of the fan favorites series. And it is find your perfect portion. Now, if you've watched my channel for any length of time, you know, I am a huge advocate of portion control and weighing and measuring because that's what it's about. Mm -hmm. Portion control. You can eat anything you want and still lose weight as long as you practice portion control and common sense. I mean, we can't have cake, pie, ice cream, and cookies all in the same day, even if we only have one serving of each. That's the common sense part. But we're gonna talk about the portion part today. So what WW tells us is not quite sure what the right amount is when it comes to a serving size, We'll let you in on a little secret. There is no right size. Portions are personal. What makes people feel satisfied, notice they said satisfied and not full, and helps them stay within their smart points budget can vary greatly. That's why it is so important to know what amount of food works for each of us. Learning what right for you portions are is a pretty important skill for meeting weight and wellness guide goals, which can then land to some serious confidence when it comes to handling knowing what to actually eat. What to do, figure out your own portions by weighing and measuring your typical meals and snacks. Um, what they're telling you to do, and I love this, and I've done it before and it was eye-opening. Number one, serve yourself. Want to have ice cream for dessert? Scoop how much you usually eat into a bowl. And it's funny that they use ice cream because that's what I did it with. The last 20 pounds I gained, I gained in one year. And I know it was 95% because I was eating my favorite Turkey Hill Naturals mint chocolate chip ice cream every single solitary night. I believe the serving size is either a half cup or two thirds of a cup. I was eating two cups a night. I would fill a cereal bowl with that ice cream and sometimes go back for more. Mm -hmm. And I was using food to cope with my mother's illness and everything. And I know that, um, and that's not an excuse. It's just what I did. But I was eating at least two cups, if not more. I was going through a container of that ice cream in two to three days, easily. So looking back, I was probably eating between 40 and 50 points of ice cream a day. So looking back at that and seeing what I used to eat was huge. Then they say number two, Use measuring cups or a scale to see how much ice cream you're used to having. 
Yeah, I was used to having two cups. Number three, get tracking. Check out how many smart points your normal portion is in the WW app. Between 40 and 50 points. Make note, does that feel satisfying and fit into your budget? Great. If not, adjust it until it's just right. <laughs> well, yeah, it felt satisfying at the time, but it didn't fit into, well, I wasn't on Weight Watchers then, but I mean, that wouldn't fit into anyone's budget. No one's budget. Yeah. So that was huge and eye-opening for me. And that ice cream with a, the recommended serving size, I believe it's either a half a cup or two-thirds of a cup, is eight points. That's hard to fit in. You know, getting 23 points a day on blue, 16 points on purple, and 30 on green. Green, I could probably fit it in. Purple, I could never fit in eight points of ice cream and still hit all of my daily healthy guidelines, you know, getting oils in and complex carbs and things like that, whole grains. I'd be over my points every day. So that ice cream is now reserved as a super special treat. I'm actually afraid to bring it in the house because I'm afraid I would lose control with it. So yeah, but it's amazing when we stop and we take that food that we used to eat all the time and we weigh and measure it. Another huge one is cereal. I used to have two huge bowls of Lucky Charms for breakfast. Yeah, I know, Lucky Charms, because I'm a child. Um, I love Lucky Charms and I'm not going to apologize for it. But the serving size is like three quarters of a cup and I would have two huge bowls of it, in including, you know, probably two cups of milk. Yeah. So sometimes it's good to look back at what we were eating to see how much we were actually eating of it. And then look at the serving size and then measure out what your typical serving would be. It is very, very eye-opening. Now, do I measure and weigh things like fruits and vegetables? No, I need to probably start measuring my fruit a little bit better because I can go nuts with grapes. I could literally eat two pounds of grapes in one day. And as, as healthy as fruit is for us, it's not good to eat that many grapes in one day. So I need to scale back on that a little bit. So there's always room for learning, no matter if you've been at this for a week, a month, a year, or two years on maintenance. There's always room to improve and always room to learn. And portions are a perfect way to do that. You've heard me say it a hundred times. I have portion distortion. I do. I can put something on my plate and go, mm, that looks like a half a cup. Yeah, and then I measure it. It's not a half a cup. It's more. It's three quarters of a cup or it's a cup. Or, oh, yeah, you know, a little bit more. Yeah, portion distortion. It's a real thing. And a lot of us have it. Some of us don't. Some of us can, you know, definitely eyeball. And I've gotten better because I know it is a problem for me. You know, when we're out somewhere to eat and my measuring tools are not readily available to me, I have gotten much, much better with estimating portions because I put that in the forefront of my mind. I don't allow myself that little extra distortion. But pull out the, and even things that you eat all the time that you don't weigh and measure anymore. Once in a while, give yourself a self check. Do that quick little check and just make sure, make sure that you are still on track with the amount that you're eating and the points that you are charging. Because you can say you're eating a half a cup and giving yourself four points. In reality, it might be a cup and it should be eight points. So yeah, give yourself some self checks once in a while. If you, if you don't weigh a measure all the time, give yourself some self checks once in a while. It may be eye opening for you. So that was the topic this week was portions, portions, portions. I've talked about it a hundred times because it's important. The recipe on the back, mason jar chickpea and veggie noodle soup. I guess you put everything into, you put everything into the jar. You use a package of ramen noodles without the little packet. And then you throw some frozen mixed veggies in and some 
spices. Looks like they, oh, they put chickpeas. You put them in there and then when it's time to eat it, you just, I'm trying to read it here, it's very dark. You put two cups of boiling water in, put the lid on, shake it and let it sit for three minutes. Kind of like a salad in the jar, but it's soup in a jar. And you know, you could do it however you wanted to do it. That's kind of cool. And it is, does that say nine points? Yeah, nine points on the green plan, four on blue and four on purple. I'm not quite, oh, the mixed vegetables and the chickpeas, you have to count on the green plan, not on the other two. So, but you could easily modify that to fit into whatever you wanted to. So kind of a cool idea, especially if you're going out of the home to work and you wanna take some nice hot soup. That's a cool way to do it. You can make up a couple and store them in the fridge at work and be ready. So anyway, that is it. My weigh in minus point two pounds and the weekly topic. So thank you so much for watching. And one other quick thing before I forget, I said in my video on Monday that I am doing a 10,000 K Q and A. Um, I already have a really good amount of questions and some really thoughtful ones. If you have any questions that you would like to ask me or Doug, please feel free to leave them down in the comments below or go back to Monday's video and leave them there. And I will be filming probably in the next week or so um, a video answering all those questions. They can be about weight loss. They can be about our life. They can be about pretty much anything. So just leave your questions on that video or this one below and hopefully I will get them all answered very soon. So thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you would join my little community here by hitting that subscribe button. And if you hit the notification bell and select all, every time I upload a video, you will be notified. So give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. If you did not like it, you can give it a thumbs down. It's okay. It's still interaction with my channel and I appreciate the feedback. Leave me a comment below and I will speak to you all very soon very soon. Have a great day and measure, weigh, and watch those portions.